While Glendening Electronic Engine Control System is operating, internal diagnostic procedures are continuous, continuously monitoring the control system operations to ensure that the control system is operating correctly. If the control system finds that some parameter has gone out of a normal operating condition, it will enter the alarm mode. The control system will indicate to the boat operator that it is in alarm mode by all of the control head button lights beginning to blink at the same time, along with the check system light. When the control system goes into alarm mode and the control headlights begin to blink, two other events will occur. They are, one, the engine will return to idle speed and the transmission will go to the neutral shift position, and two, a code will be stored in the control system memory which will indicate the cause of this alarm. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the procedure for recalling these alarm codes from the system memory. Knowing which alarm codes are in the system memory will help to determine the cause of the alarm condition. This procedure is also explained in various technical documents and the installation manual. The procedure for recalling the alarm codes is also called the troubleshooting procedure. The alarm code recovery procedure is performed at the main station. For a single station boat, this will be the only control head on board the boat. For a multi-station boat, this will be the control head station which is initially in command when the control system is first turned on. Here you can see what a 4 button control head looks like when the power is first turned on, as well as a 2 button and a 6 button control head. In order to enter the alarm code recovery procedure, follow the following steps. Step 1. The control system must first be turned off. You can verify that the control system is off by making sure that all of the control headlights are off. Step 2. Move both control handles to the full head position. Step 3. Turn the control system power on. You will observe that the take or active station LEDs begin to flash slowly. Here you can see the same procedure using a two button control head. And here using an integrated trim control head or a six button control head. Step four, press and release the sync and warm buttons simultaneously three times. Please note, for a two button control head or for an integrated trim control head, the active and sync warm buttons should be pressed instead. These buttons should be pressed together at the same time three times. After pressing the control head buttons three times, the control head lights will begin to blink, alternately blinking at a fast rate of four times per second or at a slow rate of one time per second. What the control head is indicating here is the quantity of alarm codes that have occurred since the last time the alarm code memory was cleared. The exact number of alarms that have occurred is usually not important to know. However, in certain situations, it may be helpful to know the quantity of alarm codes which have occurred since the last time that the memory was cleared. It should also be noted that the alarm code memory only stores the last 16 alarms. Please note, the number of times that each light blinks does not matter. What is important to observe is which lights are blinking during each 4 second period. Here we can see that the control headlights are alternating between a fast blink with light number 1, followed by all the lights 1, 2, 3, and 4 blinking slowly. For the two button and the integrated trim control heads, the light indication is similar, but the exact light which is blinking will be different. Once we know the light indication where the control headlights are fast blinking and slow blinking, we can then review the table in the technical manual to determine the number of alarm codes which have occurred since the last time the memory was cleared. In this example, after following step 4, the control head will be indicating the number of alarms that have occurred since the last time the memory was cleared. This is indicated by the number 2 light blinking quickly, followed by lights number 1 and 3 blinking slowly. This sequence of fast and slow blinking lights corresponds to the alarm count chart. 
In this specific example, our sequence corresponds to the number 37. This tells us that since the last time the alarm code memory has been cleared, 37 alarms have occurred. It should be noted that with new control systems where the alarm count is less than 16, you will see no lights flashing during the fast blinking sequence. In this situation, you will see the lights blinking slowly for 4 seconds, followed by no lights blinking for 4 seconds. This would correspond to the portion of the alarm count chart in the technical manual. As we have indicated earlier, the actual number of alarms that have occurred is normally not that important to know. What we are interested to know is which alarm has occurred when the control system went into the alarm mode. In order to obtain the code of the most recent alarm, it is necessary to press and release the sync button. When this is done, the control headlights will now begin to alternate between fast blinking and slow blinking, indicating to us the code for the most recent alarm event. For the two button and the integrated trim control heads, the active button is pressed in order to move from the alarm count indication to the alarm code indication. Reading the alarm code is exactly the same procedure as for reading the alarm count, identifying which lights are blinking during the fast blinking and the slow blinking periods. You can then use the chart in the manual in order to determine which alarm codes the specific light blinks are indicating. Once again, here are the equivalent light blinking combinations on this 6 button control head that were just shown on the 2 button control head. In just the same way as how we determine the alarm count, we can use the technical manual information in order to determine the specific alarm. In the example at hand, we see that we have the number 1 light blinking fast, followed by lights number 1, 2, 3, and 4 blinking slowly. In reviewing our chart, we see that this would correspond to the alarm that indicates that the control processor lost communication with handle number 1. If this were an actual alarm, this would tell us that the most recent alarm indicated the station communications problem between the control head and the control processor. At this point, we only recovered the most recent alarm code in the system memory. The control system will store the most 16 recent alarms that have occurred. We can go to the second most recent alarm by pressing and releasing the sync button that is on the 4 button control head. For the 2 button and the integrated trim control heads, the active button would be pressed and released. It is strongly recommended that all of the alarms be recalled from the system memory and the results recorded. It is also recommended that this procedure be repeated in its entirety in order to verify that the correct alarm codes have been recorded. If you wish, the alarm codes can be deleted from the system memory. This is not required, but it may be advisable if any repairs are done to the control system. The alarm codes are deleted from the system memory by pressing and releasing the sync and more buttons simultaneously during the alarm code recovery process. You'll have confirmation that all of the alarm codes have been erased by all the lights flashing on the control head. Here is the same procedure for clearing the alarm codes on the two button and the integrated trim control heads. After the alarm codes have been recorded, the control system can return to normal operation by turning the power off, returning the control handles to their neutral position, and then turning the controls back on again. With the alarm codes that you have recorded, it is important to analyze them in order to see if there are any consistent indications of control system problems. If you see the same alarm occur over and over, they would be indicative of the intermittent problem that should be corrected. If it's unclear to you what a particular set of alarm codes might indicate, please contact our service staff at Glendening Marine Products with the alarm codes and we will be happy to help you. You can reach us by sending an email to the following address, 
service at glendeningprods.com. We hope that this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions about it, please contact us for additional assistance.